Let's get back this way, folks. Uh, this creature, there he is, the geek. Is he man or beast? See those yokels out there? It gives you sort of a superior feeling, as, as if you were in the know and they were on the outside looking in. Molly was telling me about that code you and Pete used to use in vaudeville. I, I was thinking that if Pete got sick or something, why, I could work from the audience just like he used to. Oh, my dead body, she will. Pete? Come on, Pete. Pete, answer me. Maybe it's the best thing that could have happened. I've got the code. You know it as well as I do. And I've got you. This question. Can you tell me how it is signed? It is signed with the initial R. That's right. How did you happen to know so much about me? That fellow you were with. The Major D says he's a pretty big guy in this town. You don't realize what you've got here. We could set this town on its ear. Someone standing between me and that lady. She wants to speak to you. She says. Stan! You're making a mistake. Stan, turn that card over and we'll see how it'll end up. Stan and Carlisle, known as the great Stanton nightclub mentalist, fell into a deep trance during his act in a nightclub. Before doing so, he was able to talk to and see, so he claimed, the departed daughter of a famous Chicago society woman. But you can't do that. I mean, you told Mrs. Peabody nobody could. John, forgive me. Forgive me, darling. I believe now. I believe everything. We don't want to take any chances. This thing's too big. He's nothing but an uncommonly shrewd young trickster. All these things that you think you have done lately, all that have been done to you, are merely the fancied guilt of your past life projected on the present. You must regard it all as a nightmare. 